About six years ago, I had the opportunity to meet this gentleman who was rehabbing following a stroke in a nursing facility. And he and I were introduced to each other and he asked me to help him and be his advocate and assist him with moving into an assisted living facility. He knew he could not go back to his home. So I helped move him into an assisted living facility where after several months there, he wound up falling and, and fracturing his hip and I helped him get through the rehab for the hip, fra for the hip fracture. And then we decided that the facility that he was in wasn't really appropriate for him and I moved him into another home. And in this home, he actually met a, a woman there who he became friends with. And um, he was always concerned because she was 10 years older than him. And he would ask me questions like, do um, people still hold hands when they're together? And I kind of chuckled and I said, yes, you know, people do hold hands. Um, he ultimately, the last year of his life, um, about a year ago, wound up suffering, um, or diagnosed with lung cancer. And I helped him go through um, chemotherapy and radiation with that. And then um, he recovered from that and was having some several, many months of really good health. And um, then his health started to decline again. So I brought in this really warm, caring 24-hour uh, companion for him who helped him through um, his day daily activities of dressing and bathing and grooming. And through all of that, he and I, um, I provide, helped to really provide quality of life for him through the end of his days. Um, I was his advocate and his support system and actually a really good friend.